Yeah, the man T.I.P. the King good, man, right here on the west side, man, you know what I'm saying, it's just all urban central, all right? Hey, 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 hey. Without a doubt, I believe uh, me coming in the game, speaking from my perspective, um, having my hands involved in a lot of different things was always the motive. That was always the goal. But you have to accomplish things in steps. So, you know, coming in the game, it's really just about establishing yourself as an artist. Um, being able to sell records, sell units, not only that, sell venues, you know, go on tour before you could get the merchandise, so on and so forth. And as you, you move so on and so forth, I began to roll the dice. I began to try different things. I took losses on some things, but I knew I wouldn't stop. You know what I'm saying? Kept rolling the dice till we hit a few numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, for me, my other venture is all at the time uh, BBC was a hot brand. It was a super hot brand. And of course, the Neptunes, Pharrell, my folks, and the the store that he had partnered up with, they ended up stealing money from me. So I was like, man, you know, me and my homeboy, we ain't gonna steal, we know we ain't gonna steal from you, but um you know, we need to open up, we want to open up a store. We want BBC to be our flagship, uh, you know, our flagship item. By having that connection, by having that connection and, and, and um, you know, opening the storefront, we were able to get other brands. And, you know, so with BBC, then you got ice cream, then you got whatever else was hot at that time. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because when, you, when you're in that clothing business, you know, a lot of times you may have the money, but, you know, you go to Balenciaga.